Yeah, so for the last many, many years, you know, uh, you know, we've been protesting, holding gigantic global protest marches, you know, we tried to stop the Iraq war and couldn't quite do it, and, we, and we've had women's marches and this marches, and, and uh, it's got to the point now where we, you know, it, it's, uh, these, these massive marches have become uh, a regular part of the, the capitalist uh, mindscape. We're all used to it. Um, it's gotten to the point now where, you know, when, when, we, when, when the leaders of the world get together in Davos and there isn't some sort of a protest against it, you know, then they feel that they're not being effective. Uh, there is a... The, the, the protests are actually a, a, a mark of, of success for, for a lot of corporations and for a lot of uh, world leaders. Uh, you know, they, they need... Uh, they need protests against them just to validate them, uh, just just to let the world know that they're relevant and that there's, that, that, you know, that, that uh, some portion of humanity is for them and some portion of humanity is against them. Uh, so, so we've gotten to the point now where, where activist activism, uh, protest marches don't scare anybody anymore. Uh, it's a great way for us to get together and and and, 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 and you know and, and, and have some kind of solidarity and. And a feeling of oneness between us, but uh, but it doesn't scare the leaders. It doesn't scare the corporations. It doesn't scare anybody anymore. You know. So the the task, the strategic uh, the breakthrough that we need to make is is you know we have to figure out a way to to to, to do some protesting. You know that actually scares the shit out of our leaders. That uh, when we suddenly decide to go against the corporation, it, it scares the shit out of that corporation. Uh, and uh, and we can do that with this uh, idea of uh, fuck it all Fridays.